I think this is one of the last things we uh, went over before I took my break. Last Wednesday, we were talking about some rumors out there about James Gunn's Superman movie. And the rumor is that Lex Luthor is going to create evil clone of Superman. And that will be something that Superman has to fight at the end of the movie. And it's going to be like Ultraman. So they're kind of like blending uh Ultraman from the comics from like Earth 3 and uh a little bit of like Bizarro but but really it's more like um I mean it honestly feels a lot like uh Doomsday from Zax and this was interesting to me because a, a lot of you guys didn't like that by the way let me know in the chat uh how you feel about it did you like it did you not like it and I, it was a weird one for me because I saw a lot of people like, mm, I don't like that. Like, that's silly. That seems dumb. We've done that many different times. Whereas I was kind of like with it. Like, I was like, dude, that's cool. Like, I could see what he's doing here. And also Gunn did, uh, what was the, he did like a little evil Superman movie, Brightburn, I think. So I was like, this could be interesting. Like Gunn could make commentary on all the evil Superman stuff that's been out there. Evil Superman's very popular, uh, either at DC or the derivatives of Superman that are evil all throughout. Your Omni-Mans, your uh, freaking The Boys guy, Anthony Starr, I'm blanking on him, uh, his name. But like, you've seen it about Homelander. Like, you've seen that before, right? And I was like, well, this could be interesting because he's the OG. Maybe Gunn could do something commentary wise here uh, and all of that. But a lot of fans did not like it, right? So interestingly, Gunn himself debunks it. I think the next day, I believe. And here's what he says here. Primary protagonist of Superman is my wife. No, I'm just kidding. Shockingly, Superman. Uh, the main villain of Superman is shockingly Lex Luthor. I don't know where all the stuff is coming from that it's something other than this. There are so many stories coming out every day. It's difficult to deal with. And every time I strike something down, I'm giving it attention. Okay. Uh, so I'll say again, don't believe anything unless you see it here. And why would you want to know everything before the movie comes out anyway? Heart uh, uh, fish thing. Okay, so he uh, bedunked it, right? It's not real. Do you guys believe him? Do you think he actually bedunked it? What do you think? So I don't think he bedunked it. And uh, we know that Gunn has a history. And I'm going to be like super charitable here. I'm going to be super charitable. We know that Gunn has a history of kind of talking out of both sides of his mouth. So famously, our interaction was based on me saying he didn't like Henry Cavill. And I had heard that he was going away from Henry Cavill. He kind of like says that he likes Henry Cavill, but then like fires him, I think like three days later, right? There's the Middle Eastern comedian who was in a version of the movie. Gunn had talked to him about being in the movie. And Gunn got caught up in this situation where there was like a spin to it where it was people were trying to say that Gunn was removing that actor because of something to do with the conflict in the Middle East. And so Gunn had to come out and say, I did talk to him, but he was never assigned and something in the movie changed and he was no longer in the movie. So that proves that like when Grace was talking about the conflict in the Middle East, that there's some truth to that like the the thing about people that lie is eventually you start to notice that they can't keep their story straight so like in order to look innocent of discrimination against this actor he had to come out and basically admit that there was a version of the script where there was conflict in the middle east proving that the other rumors and reports were real right and if you look at gun and i think look i was like screaming this to high heavens after our particular situation because you got to be very like you got to really pay attention to what he is saying he obfuscates and he sort of used double speak and vague statements that maybe are technically true but don't actually debunk 
or bedunk things in the way you would actually think, right? I've been saying that for a while. That's what he does. And I think this is another example of that. So if you think about what he said, like, let's read it again. He said the primary protagonist of Superman is shockingly Superman. Okay. The main villain of Superman is shockingly Lex Luthor. Okay. So the protagonist is Superman. The antagonist is Superman. I don't know where all this other stuff is coming from. It's something other than this. Who's saying it's something other than that? The leak itself suggests that Lex will be fighting against Superman as the main villain by use of his mind and his technology. And part of that will manifest in making the clone. So the leak doesn't contradict at all what he is saying here, right? There's so many stories coming out every day. It was difficult to, every time I strike something like that. I mean, that's kind of what I've been saying for a while, mother is like, don't do that because you're just bringing attention to it. Uh, so I'll say again, don't believe anything until you see it here. And then he has to add this last part of like, why would you want to know everything before a movie comes out? Anyways, I get his perspective on it, but leak culture is absolutely a thing and people love knowing that. You know what I mean? Like, that's just what it is. Like, people like knowing stuff. And because he didn't directly shoot down the clone Superman thing, I don't think he's actually debunking it. But here's here's what I want to know from you. Do you think he is debunking? Them? Right now, this statement, do you think that Gunn is debunking the leak about Ultraman? Like, and it's okay if you do. Because my point is, I think a lot of people do think that. And the thing I'm curious about is how are those people going to feel if the Ultraman clone thing is actually in the movie? Because I like, I don't even have a big problem with it. I actually think it could work, but he is kind of out here right now telling people, don't worry, that ain't real. I would never do a stupid clone Superman storyline that's been done a million times. I'm gun. I'm more original. It's Lex Luthor and Superman. So don't worry, guys, because a lot of the energy and a lot of the, the, the things I saw from fans was like, that is stupid. I don't want a clone of Superman. Again, it's ironic and we're in a topsy turvy like bizarro land ourselves because I actually think it could be cool. I think I understand what he's trying to do with it, but a lot of fans didn't like it. And so by coming out and doing this, which by the way, James, you didn't have to say shit for like the past three years. You didn't have to say any of that. By coming out and saying this, I feel like you you are setting your fans up for disappointment. I think if there is indeed an evil clone Superman in this movie, a lot of people are going to be pretty pissed. And I don't think they're going to take a charitable look at you and the way you talk online. You keep showing people who you are. It's okay, but it is who you are. And I think that you're just, you're going to run out a road of goodwill and people are just going to kind of see it for what it is. And then the shit you say becomes meaningless. So I just think may, like, look, maybe it is bullshit. Maybe he's like literally rewriting it out or writing it out of the script, like right now, like he did with the Middle East thing. That's possible. But I got to be honest, dude. If you thought it was a good idea, how dare you let social media tell you otherwise? Who's writing this movie? You or Reddit? What's happening here? You can't be reactionary like that and actually tell a story. Are you a storyteller? When you were sitting alone in your zone writing this shit out, did you think it was a good idea? Then stick with that. So I don't know, man. I feel like this mother about to get his hand stuck in the cookie jar. Like this feels weird because I'm pretty sure it's in the movie. And now a bunch of people are gonna walk out and be like, what? But James said, you feel me? So I don't know. I mean, maybe no Ultraman, probably Ultraman. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like probably clone Ultraman in the movie. And uh, again, I don't even have a problem with it. I think it's cool. But I think he's setting himself up for a bad time by doing this and by doing it again. Like, bro, just get off Twitter, man. I know I'm addicted to it too, but I deleted it off my phone and it was it was good. So uh, yeah, that's what I think about this. Whew.